and Eugene are throwing Dr. G a bachelor party. So, me and Phaedra decided that we're going to throw you a pamper party. Ooh, what, what is that? I just want you to come sexy. But lingerie style, we're showing you what you're going to have to do for the rest of your life going forward. You know I can't run like a motor, no off switch. Is this the same thing you had me doing when I asked you how to cook a certain meal? Mm-hmm. Even I had a little piece over there. Baby, now who was that? Just mind your business. We cook a meal and we kick them out. Oh! Watch out, I'ma show you how Let's go, boy! Go, Dylan, go! Uh, they look good when they're playing themselves. Yeah. <laughs> how does do it be? Watch me now, pop the top, give you the fears. I'ma show you how to do it. How to do it be. Jackie! Jack, Jack! Hello. You better come on out here, girl, before I eat your lunch. Look at here. Look at here. Now, I was willing to eat my lunch and yours. Oh, we don't have a salad today? Mm-mm. What in the world? Mm -hmm. Hey, you. You know we got to make changes. Mm -hmm. It's been a long time since we had an opportunity to have lunch. I know. Good. A lot of times, I'm just working through lunch. OK. Uh, I saw a patient today, and she said, you know, I got this yeast infection. I've tried Monistat. I've tried this. I've tried that, and it won't go away. And you know for us, we go, OK. But I said, it's not yeast. Unfortunately, it's sexually transmitted. Trichomonas. But where could that have come from? Could it be you? Oh, no, indeed. I'm not. I'm just sleeping with what I said. OK, well, good. We covered that. As an OBGYN, a lot of what I do is Awkward. The worst case is when I know the husband. I said, I don't do jail ministry at you all. You get into all of that. I do. So don't go home and get put in jail. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I start to feel like cheaters or, or Jerry Spring or something run out with my... <laughs> now, speaking of the good old-fashioned good time, sweet tea. Sweet tea is in a little bit of a struggle. Yeah. I'm up to here. I'm up to here. There's a lot going on. I'm irritable. Sweet tea is more like nature sweet now. <laughs> <laughs> the baby is overwhelmed. She's trying to cater to Greg's needs. And then she's having to do a lot of her own wedding planning. Most stuff is done online now. Well, she asked me about an assistant. I say, huh? I know. To help her with things. Like what? She would have somebody just go to the grocery store, and all she has to do literally is come in and cook. I'm sorry. Because Gregory is expecting dinner when he gets home. Okay. The newer generation, they're just more entitled, more spoiled. Definitely. Mm -hmm. When I was Sweet Tea's age, I was in private practice, husband, I had a toddler. I never thought I'd hear myself saying, sounding like my mother, like, ooh, child, this young generation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The younger generation, like my boys, just expects life to happen like magic. Can you give her a life coach for a month as a gift? Well, she ain't got time right now for that. Come but on. Sweet tea needs to rise up to the grown woman status as soon as possible. It's starting to rain. You want to okay, go let's inside? Go in. Let's go Come in. On, Come we'll on, girl. We'll be sitting here, and the next thing you know, honey, I'll have an afro. Come on in. We don't do well in the rain. Hey, you look pretty. Look at you. You look good. It's not the fan Okay, Yeah, you look good. Girl. You, like a, you look very like southern, like how Praise I Praise the Lord, I am southern on Miami Five. How are you guys doing yeah. tonight? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. So listen, she's getting married, right? Oh. Can we get a shot of Patron? <laughs> <laughs> of course. All right, let's oh, do yes, it, baby. Yes. Thank you. You're excited, I'm ready for you. Yes, girl, you ready. So what?
What you thinking, girl? What's going on? Man, wedding planning has been rough. Been rough. I had to get in my wedding planner's ass to get him on point. Yeah. Is Gregory more involved in the wedding now? I know that was like a little issue for y'all. I had an idea that he would be more involved, mm -hmm. and he's not. The wedding is a week away, and I'm so stressed out. I had to change my venue at the last minute because my first venue was going to be on a rooftop, and it was going to rain. Wow, it's just beautiful. Yeah. Very chic. Mm -hmm. I love it. And I want to make sure that everything is perfect for this wedding because I've worked so hard to get to this point. So we're going to do one more shot. This is the last one, bitch. I ain't playing with you no more. All right. Come on, let's go. I feel like my wig sliding back. No, <laughs> don't do this. Don't do that. Everybody go into marriage with good intentions, right? But you got to prepare just in case. My mama used to teach me, always have your own. You know right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Save your money. I don't know about this stuff, but I need to learn how, like you said, I can put my money into, like, the life insurance mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. my retirement. And Gary really don't give a about that. Right, right. Because so chances are, one. he'll go before you do. But I, I don't ask Gary for money. She Gary didn't pay for everything, so it's all good, right? It's good, yeah, but I don't ask for money. I got my own money. Right. So does he, like, throw it in your face that he pay the bills? Yeah, I mean, sometimes he do, yeah. Are you paying rent? Are you paying any bills? Like the small things, the housekeepers and all that I pay for. You know what I'm the housekeepers? Well, I probably was right about a few things about him. Like what? He will do things that's controlling. Mm. What was it? What did he do? That alarm system has to happen. I was upset with Gregory about that. He lied and said that there was robbers in the house. With guns. Why did he lie? He tried to teach me a lesson because I forget to set the alarm and like, leave the house. I do. That was a bad joke. You are not my damn daddy. You don't teach me a lesson. You teach your children a lesson. I'm going to be your wife. Well, that pissed me off. So I got the one off on his ass. See what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah. You know, you act, you saying the same that Quad said. I said, wait a well, Wait a minute. Was me and Quad are the only women that live with you? He said, no woman ever said those things to me. I said, well, who else lived with you other than me and Quad? I feel like Sweet Tea is telling me the same exact things that Quad said. Quad said the man was controlling. The Quad said the man wanted his way or no way. In this next year, we got to start working on a family. You ought to be appreciative of the things that you have, OK? I can take a you since the day I met you. What did y'all say? I just didn't say you need to be more involved. Like, it's not about the monetary things. Love is not a monetary thing. But you you said, need I don't to get that. You. Love is being connected with a person. Please hear me. Yes, I would have divorced him if I were Quad. And I don't want to see Sweet Tea go through the things that Quad went. Quad got a whole darn mug shot that the G did too. What's going to happen after you get married? I think that we'll figure it out. Gotcha. Oh.